Woof, folks, it's me, the furriest film critic in town, your favorite Pomeranian, here with a tail-wagging movie review of The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. And let me tell you, this movie left me howling for more, but not in a good way. First things first, where were the dogs? I spent the whole movie looking for a canine companion, or at least a scene of a dog chasing a squirrel. Nope, not a zilch. I mean, come on, folks. You know, know what they, they say. About say. Guys with big feet. Every great movie has a dog, or at least a squirrel chasing scene. But instead, we got a bunch of snakes. I tell you, I was expecting a dog friendly flick, but it turned out to be a slithery surprise. This movie is like a game of fetch gone wrong. I thought I'd get a treat, but I ended up with a belly full of hissing disappointment. Now, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes takes us back to a time long before Katniss Everdeen graced the screen and way before I was even a fluffy pup. It's just a baby! It's all about the rise of Coriolanus Snow, the future dictator of Panem. King in the castle, king in the castle. He's like the bad neighbor who never returns your tennis balls. The story is The Hunger Games all over again, but with a twist, it's set in the past. Great Scott! We get to see how the whole gruesome tradition started and how it's used as a tool for control. But I wanted a dog's perspective, not a snake's. The cast is fine with Rachel Zegler as Lucy Gray Baird and Tom Blythe as Coriolana Snow, but it was just an average performance. It didn't keep me on the edge of my movie seat. It kept me on the edge of my toilet seat because it was such a long-winded film that my e bladder couldn't handle it. And I'm not even house trained. We do get some background on Snow's life, like how he grew up poor, lost his family in a war, and had to live with his grandparents and a cousin named Tigress. Then he becomes a capital big shot and ends up mentoring Lucy Gray, the District 12 tribute. But the whole time I was barking, oh, where's the dog people? The dog, where are they? There's some snake action in the Hunger Games and Snow helps Lucy out by making the snakes like her scent. I have had it with these motherfucking snakes. Sneaky, right? But when they find out, they, they turn him into a peacemaker, which is like it being in the dog house, but with less kibble. This got me thinking. Watching this movie without any dogs is like trying to enjoy a sunny day at the park with a leash that's just a tad too short or like playing fetch with a tennis ball that bounces away never to be seen again. Snakes in a movie. Well, it's like teaching a snake to bark. Simply an uphill battle. But fear not, my fellow dog lovers, because I've got a tail wagging solution for you. Introducing the latest and greatest in doggy merchandise. Yogsinsta gear, from t-shirts to coffee mugs, We've got you covered. Now you can start your day sipping your morning coffee from a mug adorned with Yogi Asinsta's adorable face. Oh, groovy, baby. Yeah. And wear a t-shirt that proudly displays your love for all things canine and comically critiqued movies. But here's the real treat, my friends. Each purchase of Yogi Asinsta merchandise will not only make you the envy of your fellow dog enthusiasts, but also help fund more hilarious doggy movie reviews. That's right, with every t-shirt or coffee mug you buy, you're contributing to the creation of even more chuckle-worthy, tail-chasing, and fur-tastic cinematic commentary. So why wait? Head over to the Yogi Sense to Merchandise store and unleash your inner dog enthusiast while supporting the creation of more laugh-out-loud doggy movie reviews. Remember, it's all positive vibes and good times, just like Yogi Sinsta himself. Anyways, where was I? Oh yes, Snow and Lucy become closer in District 12, but things take a dark turn when Snow discovers some folks planning to escape to the north. He sniffs out the trouble and decides to bark, I mean shoot Lucy. It's never clear if she's fetching sticks in doggy heaven or if she managed to escape with her life. At the end, Snow heads back to the capital, becomes a games maker. Long live the king. Lucy, she vanishes like a tennis ball that rolled under the couch. Maybe she's off chasing squirrels in a better movie. So folks, in the end, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes left me wanting more dogs and less snakes. I hate snakes, Chuck! It's an average movie, but if you're into Hunger Games history, go fetch yourself a ticket. Tickets! Tickets! Who needs tickets? Just don't expect any fluffy Pomeranians to make an appearance. Woof out. Woof. Um, woof.